this is Kim, and this is Susie, my brother's cats. One of them is bad, and the other one is… even worse. They like to jump into restricted areas all the time, so I've designed an auto-aim water sprayer to hopefully change our minds. Something like this, but pressurized and automatic. So I printed all the parts and got to work. I started with a PCB, which was manufactured by PCBWay. Nothing too fancy in terms of component size. 805 resistors and capacitors did the trick. By the way, this is part one of the project, so make sure to subscribe and ring the bell if you don't want to miss the next one. The board is fairly simple, as you can see. Most of the commands will be introduced by software, but I thought that it would be convenient to include a way to manually launch some functions, like calibration or to activate outputs like, for instance, the water valve. That's what the SMD buttons are there for. I used my custom-made hot plate machine to solder the board. As you can see, the size of the plate is just what I needed this time. I have to say, I cannot stand misaligned components, so I always try to fix them afterwards using a hot air gun. I noticed that the lower cover of the hot plate started to warp due to heat. So, instead of trying to print the part again, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to use my new laser machine and make that part out of a 3mm plywood sheet instead. The contour of the cut came out super smooth. I applied some of the old water dye that I had from the previous project. And this is how it looks. And continuing with the board, I soldered all the through hole components like terminals, stepper motor drivers for the X and Y axis, the power plug terminal, and the Raspberry Pi computer. This machine has different parts and many screws, so I use threaded inserts, which always looks and feels nicer. In order for the machine to know where it is, it must have a position reference. I installed two magnetic sensors inside the 3D printed plate. This will detect the magnetic field of a small magnet and work like end stops. And yeah, they might seem small, but they are really strong. In case you are wondering why I used two bearings instead of one, well, this is why.
that was the x-axis assembly, and this is the y-axis. The water system will be installed in the next video, but I already installed the solenoid valve and the adjustable nozzle. So the first test was really simple. I powered on the unit and checked that the magnetic end stops on the solenoid valve were working. Then I wrote a calibration program using Python. Since both axes will always start from random positions, they must move until they reach their end stop, and from there go back to the reference point. Ok, so what's next? Part 2 will cover the pressurized system build, the camera and laser module installation, and of course the automatic tracking system using OpenCV. Oh, and I will upload all the parts on my Thingiverse profile once it's completed. I will announce it on my Instagram account. So, stay tuned! Thanks again PCBWay for supporting this project. They are not only a top quality PCB manufacturer with a wide range of options available, but they are also a CNC machining and 3D printing service, which makes PCBWay an all-around solution for the maker. You can check their latest discounts in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.